type of vehicle. You could stay up for potentially a whole day, you know, 24 hours. You've got much longer range. That allows you to do much, much more. The real game changer here is it takes off vertically and then transitions into forward flight, wingborne flight. Uh, if you want long range, long endurance, you want to not be hovering with rotors. You want to get on to lift on the wing for forward flight. It's roughly three times more efficient than rotor-borne flight. With electric motors, you can break up the propulsion into a larger number of motors and propellers, and you can put that anywhere on the aircraft you want to without any loss in efficiency. If you took an internal combustion engine and broke one engine up into 10 small little engines, you would see a tremendous loss in efficiency. So you get a big advantage from distributing the propulsion units. I think any company that wanted to do long range surveillance of assets like pipelines might be interested in these types of vehicles or companies that would want to provide services for those types of companies. Companies that may want to fly a payload, they're totally applicable as an urban air mobility concept if they're scaled up to a larger size. Both of the concepts that we have, the GL10 and the trifecta vehicle, they're pushing the technology out into a different flight envelope. This NASA technology and many others are ready to be transferred to your business. Find out more by visiting technology.nasa.gov.